There is no doubt that private schools play a vital role in the provision of quality education in Lagos State. Hence, to ensure that private school owners continue to strive for excellence while adhering to the rules and regulations guiding the operations, the Ministry of Education organized its quarterly private school owners stakeholders forum. The theme of today's forum is embracing reforms in education. The theme is timely, come at a time that the state government is making efforts to improve the quality of teaching and learning in areas of infrastructural development, capacity building, programs, and improved welfare to enhance quality outcomes in the delivery of quality, qualitative education to our children. It is therefore pertinent to ensure that private education providers also key to this progressive development. As a government passionate to remain a pace setter for other states, the state government has created a conducive environment for private school owners to thrive, as the state government has also been putting up policies and programs to ensure that these schools are geared towards giving students the best. If we must improve standard, then we must embrace reforms. Human society is ever developing, is ever evolving, is ever dynamic, and therefore we must make sure that we make ourselves available for changes, for reforms in the sector. Education is fast becoming a weapon that is globally used to drive change. And therefore, those of us who are investors in education, those of us who are proprietors of schools, ensure that we are in tune with contemporary development as far as education is concerned globally. Represented by the Permanent Secretary of Education, the Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Dr. Idiat Adebule, reiterated the state government's commitment to sustaining a high standard in the sector. She therefore charged private school owners to continue to play their roles through complementing the efforts of the state government. You know, we agree that we cannot do the same thing, same way, and get different results. Thus, to improve our service delivery in the sector, we shall be discussing the following reforms. One, the new curriculum. Two, provision of infrastructure. Three, teaching methodology. Five, encouraging the recruitment of qualified teachers. Six, consistent, intensive monitoring and quality assurance in schools in order to maintain standard amongst others. Other stakeholders were present to sensitize the participants on various issues relating to the day-to-day -day running of their schools. Our schools must be comfortable for learning. Nutrition and food services is very key. The food handlers, they must do food handlers tests we must make sure that we're giving food that will not lead to our children to hospitals. We expect that our recreational activities will be done safely. You take the permission of the parents and there are some risk assessments you must do in various recreational activities. High point of the day was the presentation of letters of approval to schools who have met the conditions for the provisional approval as stipulated by the state government. Proprietors and proprietors whose schools got approved shared their joy with Education Report on TV. I'm feeling very, very happy about this approval letter given to us today. And the approval process is a fantastic uh, thing in, the, in, Le in Lagos Ministry of Education because it makes the school to know what and what that are necessary to put in that school. You know, how to uh, give the children that education that is 
very, very good for them. That, that's bringing up a child physically, morally, academically, socially, and emotionally. So this uh, inspection and the approval is something that every other state in Nigeria should, should emulate. It's really what's going through. Lagos State is really trying, and they are very thorough. If you go to the school now, you find out that everything that is needed to be in place is in place. Without these approval processes, you find that there will not be standards in the school, but they make sure that everything that needed to be in place is in place. And that helps us in the quality assurance of the schools and the students. Lagos State is a model that all other states should be able to emulate now because they've been able to put a uh, restructure in place from um, site uh, inspection to name it to approval. You know, they, they are quite thorough, the officers are quite thorough. The entire team that are in charge of uh, private school approval, they are quite uh, thorough in their job. This is a moral booster to us. So we'll be able to brandish or we'll be able to to, to display our certificate and let people know that we've been approved. We'll continue to do the right thing and be able to improve on our facilities and be able to improve on our teaching methodology. So it's, it's a nice thing. It's, it's, a good, it's a good thing. It's a good thing for us. It will help us because it's like we've been undergoing an exam. So we've now, we are now here to collect the results of the exam. But not, it's not as if it ends today. What we are being given today is just to move us higher, to do more, to sustain what they saw when they came to our school, to improve the standard, and to continue obeying the rules and the guidelines that have been given to us. I would strongly advise that every school that is not yet approved should undergo this process. Safeguarding is everybody's business. It encompasses all, all works of life. You, you, you go everywhere, even in shops, you find children in there. Children in an environment, once they come into your environment, it is your responsibility to ensure that those children are safe in that environment. We need to be looking out for our children. We need to be ensuring that wherever they are is safe. But people who work with children also need to be able to identify when the child is not safe. In all, private school owners have been enjoined to follow religiously the path to standard and avoid falling into the hands of fraudsters. Therefore, they should not hesitate to contact the Ministry of Education for every information needed.